you don't want to take too much away from uh, what's happening in the market uh, yesterday and today. I would keep in mind that basically, you know, the markets obviously had uh, some time to prepare for the election. And if you look at the last uh, really four months, you could argue that, uh, you know, the market's gone sort of sideways between 3,200 and 3,600. That's uh, obviously a pretty big range. And, and we're sort of trying to go back, you know, into the middle of the range. So I'm, I, I'm, I'm not sure that the market is speaking uh, that loudly that, uh, you know, it, 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 it's made up its mind. Uh, so the, so the past past two days do not suggest to you that the, that the market assumes a swift resolution. Uh, but but then, then the question becomes, what, if anything, did the past two days signify? Uh, it, 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 you know, over, over the last uh, three months, uh, what we've seen is market sentiment about the election and whether it's going to be contested and close or, you know, it's, it's very, very clear. It's basically, you know, fluctuated massively. Uh, I would say that we are sort of, uh, you know, in the middle of uh, the third wave of uh, repricing. Um, but if you look at, uh, you know, you take a point in the past where, you know, it seemed uh, very, very clear what the sentiment and the baseline view was that, you know, we were going to get uh, a blue sweep. Um, and, and, and you compare the market today to where it was then, I would argue, you know, we should, if we get uh, the baseline view and we get a quick and clear resolution, you know, you should see a rally as uh, that uncertainty comes out. But we're talking about, you know, 3%. I mean, keep in yeah. mind... A typical post-election rally when the uncertainty clears, you know, is, is worth about 6% over six weeks. So if you've done half, you've got about half left. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.